Hello everyone, welcome to issue 26 of our news editor. This is our weekly video to keep you up to date with the future streams and events. Before we begin, I'd just like to thank you for showing support and for helping the channel to grow. Right folks, uh, busy times, busy times as always. The YouTube channel is nearly at 400 subscribers, so thanks to everyone that's jumping on and getting there. We are creeping up, like every couple of days or so we get a new subscriber. It, we're seeing growth across all the channels. Obviously YouTube's the main one, and that's obviously keeping an eye on it, but it's, we're, people are finding us, people are staying, and that's cool. It's just sometimes you're like, why isn't like five, six people at a time? It, it's, a, it's a strange thing, but for everyone that is subscribed, thank you very much. As you know, it's just a button click, and all it does is put the channel's content in your feed. If you don't ring the bell thing, you won't get annoyed all the time. So you can click an individual, if it's a particular stream you want to keep up to date with, you're interested in, you can click notify on the individual one. Click on the, hence why this weekly email, and that's why the email goes around and it's got the links. So if there's something you want to say, click on that actual one and you can be individually notified. If you do the bell icon, you'll just get tortured. It'll just be pinging all the time with everything and nobody wants that. But just hitting the subscribe button just puts it into your, your feed and you don't get annoyed about it. It's a simple thing and it just helps the channel because YouTube has this weird thing that unless you have so many subs, you're not considered valuable, so it doesn't let people see you. It's it's only become recently that you can actually type in the Horrific Podcast and find us. <laughs> it wasn't a thing before. Very, very strange. The only way people could find it was through the links I posted on other uh, platforms, so uh, we're seeing progress. Obviously, as we get more subscribers, things open up admin-wise. Like, one thing I do have, when, did I, when I hit 300 subscribers, I got the community tab, so that meant I could make posts <clears throat> and do various things. I don't overuse it. But it's there and it's a good thing to have. When I get the 500, I can link my Teespring store directly so I'm not having to torture you with posts all the time. It'll just be there at the, at the channel you can, and as I add new stuff, it'll just pop up. So that's always the thing. When you get to 1,000, you get more stuff. You know, it just kind of goes a gap. But also, when you get more subscribers, YouTube starts sharing the channel out. It's the same as when the videos get views. You know, it'll show out and people will find it. And I'm starting to see now, particularly the news segment, people seem to like the, the news videos I do. So when I share them out, they're the ones that kind of blow up and get the most traction. So as we get more subscribers, that gets deemed more valuable and then they, they throw it out there and then more people can find it. Uh, so it's always cool. At, at the end of the day, this isn't an ego thing. It's not about, oh, I want to be super famous. All I want to do is just find the right people that, you know, are interested in what I'm talking about. And as long as I know I'm not being blocked or held back, you know, I'm happy in that respect. I'm not about, oh, I must be the best YouTuber ever, the best social media media person ever because that's not what I'm about. I like talking about horror. I like talking about movies. I also like getting into topical discussions about what's behind the horror genre and also meeting cool people because especially over the last couple of years, you know, as you see, we've got regular uh, contributors. Steve, Dale, Chris, uh, obviously goes without saying, Cameron and Adam being there from the start. And then we've got uh, all the folks over at Brotherhood of the Dice, the Monkey Tales, and then other people. Shay recently got involved with us. You know, we've got loads of folks that get involved and it's just been growing and that's that's thanks to you folks who subscribe and make the channel visible so to speak that's, that's the best way to describe it just makes it more visible it just makes it when people look for horror content then it pops up instead of just being buried like under tons i know it's a hard thing with horror because there's loads of channels absolutely ton it's something people love to talk about there's also people love the pan and horror as well and they go under the title horror and then they talk about how terrible it is, you know, that you got those types too. But uh, it's not an easy thing, but everyone who is that comes on board, honestly, really appreciate it. It does help and uh, hopefully we'll keep growing. And like I said, I've got a couple of projects and stuff in the near future when a few things line up. When the stars align, as I say, I've got a few things uh, for those that subscribe and stuff to sort of say thank you. So here's uh, hoping we uh, crack on as we are because we've got a good good pace going. So long may I continue. Right, let's get on to the streams. So first of all, Saturday the 20th of April, I'm back with Path of Exile. Uh, my plan is I want to finish Act 3. So hopefully I can get that. If I don't get a load of extra side missions, I'm hoping to get Act 3 finished. That means do the last two missions and then go back and do all the Path of Ascendancy puzzle things. Get that all cracked out and then start on Act 4. But I don't know at that point. I'll see how long it takes me to finish up Act 3. If it takes like a full session and I'm absolutely shagged at the end of it, then what I might do is take a break from Path of Exile and do something else. 
I think you've kind of figured out Saturday's kind of my gaming night. Gaming slash interview night. So if I've got interviews on, I'll do them on Saturday. If I'm not doing that, then I'm playing a game. And I like to play a game irregularly, rather than just random games all the time, where you're just sort of poking at something. I like to jump into something that I'm going to continue on with, which is why I like this. I uh, really love Black Book because it's story driven and you sort of pick up and you carry on each time you're unfolding a bit of the narrative which we're doing in this story you know as you go along you're unfolding the narrative of Ray class and uh, basically what happened and why it's the state it's in and then I think your character's sort of part of the solution to try and turn it back but yeah there you go that's that's cool we'll be cracking on with that then Tuesday the 23rd of April I am back with Chris and some of you will be sorry some of you might be pleased to know that we are finishing off the Tremors TV show this thing feels like it's been part of my life like I've discussed in <laughs> Tremors that it's almost become a Tremors channel. <laughs> Tuesdays is Tremor night, which is funny. Tremor Tuesdays. But yeah, the, we're doing the last three episodes of the TV series, so that's Water Hazard, The Sounds of Silence, and The Key. So it'll be an odd one because on one hand I have an absolute blast talking about these great TV show but also that's it then they only did one season all the movies were done and the movies ended in the sour note so at least this will unless they've really jumped the shark with the last three episodes we'll finish on a high with a good feeling and knowing that you know at least something good was you know positive was put in us and an and effort made so yeah we'll be doing that and then after that we're going to do the Sharknado series but I might have a chat with Chris about that because uh, actually, but I've got to explain what I'm doing with Dale because we had a talk about this how we're moving forward so we're not just stuck in the one franchise for months because <laughs> if you think about it every two weeks <laughs> doing something that's uh, there's 12 weeks to do the movies the Sharknado ones so maybe we'll do two franchises but do one a piece do one movie, do the next, do one, do the next, and sort of work in two at the same time. That way we're freshening up. But we'll have a chat and we'll maybe go with that. But definitely Tremors is um, finished with that. And yeah, we're moving on to the next thing. So all good. That goes without saying, I have an absolute laugh with Chris. Like each of, each of my co-hosts brings something different to the table. And that's what it's always fun. Different personalities, different outlooks, and a different energy when we bounce off each other. And that's what I really enjoy. Rather than me just like this, talking into the void. You know, it's, it's good to interact. Anyway, talking of interacting, Sunday the 20th of April, Cameron and I are back on for the talk spot. Yep, another month nearly over. You wouldn't say it going. So as usual, we'll be uh, talking nonsense, looking at news articles, and then uh, our planned movie is Castle Freak. So we'll be stepping into the vault. That's a uh, 90s movie, I believe. Uh, I haven't seen it. It was on the radar. We were talking about it. Like, yep, I'll have to do that one. So yeah, that should be a laugh. I think it's along the same lines as Hatchet, so it's that sort of vibe so yeah looking forward to that then monday the 29th of april i'm back on with steve as we carry on with the hammer horror films and we're doing dracula 1958 so yeah here's the first incarnation of christopher lee as the dark lord and yeah looking forward to that absolute classic of a movie just it's, it's busy bram stoker's dracula you know it's just a wee bit of a twist but essentially that's that's the story and uh nothing wrong with it you know what i mean no problem whatsoever obviously we touched the knees when we did the dracula and films uh chat god when was that that was ages ago that was um with jane and yeah after the old john on that one like three or four people it was good it was good laugh it was a good good episode but yeah uh was it andy did andy join in but a few folks anyway you know it was a it was a good one we just looked at all the iterations of dracula including the christopher lee ones because when people think of dracula people still today think christopher lee you know that he owned that role it's uh fantastic so yeah we're, we're on that one and then i think this is really going to the classic hammer that everybody knows Okay, Tuesday the 30th of April then, I'm back on with Brotherhood of the Dice and Infinite Monkey Tail as we carry on with the Alien RPG. Dracona Strain Trilogy, Destroyer of Worlds. This is session 11 or 12, I think we're on. Crack it on. Uh, <laughs> if you saw last time, just having an absolute blast. I don't think we're meant to do some of the things. But I've lost count of the number of uh, war crimes I've committed during this uh, scenario. But yeah, it's good just uh, just... We're like the Dirty Dozen, I've said this before, it's like the Dirty Dozen of aliens. We're just a ragtag group, we're just uh, absolutely getting yeah, we're, we're carrying out the mission, but we're just causing carnage along the way, and just the interplay between the characters, getting the chance for a better role playing and going about things, it's, it's always a lot of fun. And finally, Thursday the 2nd of May, Del and I are on, and we are going to be covering Wellington Paranormal. Now this is a spin-off from what we do in the shadows. So they made a TV series originally of that movie, featuring the two police officers that were in the, the episode. 
So the first two are Demon Girl and Cop Circles. So be interesting to have a look at that there. And if you saw the police officers in uh, what we do in the shadows, they're just inept. So you can just see these bumbling idiots going through and, and then there's paranormal stuff going on all around them and they'll just be like completely oblivious to it. I think that's going to be the joke. Yeah, looking forward to that one. So what we're going to do, we were talking about doing this way, Dale and I. One week we're going to do Wellington Paranormal. The following week we're going to do what we do in the shadows, TV show. So each each uh, stream will be two episodes, TV show, the way we've been doing with Tremors. Then the week after that we'll do a movie. And then we'll go back to Wellington Paranormal. So what we're not doing is sitting, especially these are multiple seasons. So rather than just sitting on the one TV show, which will take absolutely ages to go through, especially multiple seasons, that's what we'll do. We'll flip between the two or three of them and then do a movie, and that way we're keeping it fresh, but we're moving forward as well. Because I'll not lie, as much as I love the Tremors TV show, I'm getting a bit burnt out just talking about the one <laughs> the one film franchise and not mixing it up a bit. I know I do stuff in, in between, but it's like when I get on with Chris, I like to talk to him about different movies and stuff, so... Uh, yeah, that's, that's what we'll do. And then I'll have a chat with Chris about doing the same thing, so we'll, don't spend 12 weeks just doing Sharknado. We'll look at something else and maybe throw it in, and then alternate, and we'll see how that works in future. Yeah, it takes longer to get there, but this, this is um, this is a long game at the end of the day. We're not just thinking five minutes ahead, we're thinking a year ahead, just, you know, appearing regularly, having something to talk about. And even if it's not always up-to-date, brand new, it's good to go back over some of these shows and... For example, likes of well, the paranormal. I don't think everybody knows about it, so we'll try and bring some of that stuff to light and uh, get some eyes on board. But there you go. That is it for this week. Needless to say, this is not a definitive list. As I organise more streams and people reach out, they'll get added to. So just leave me to say, keep up the channel, do the techy clicky things, and until next time, keep it creepy, keep perfect.